Good morning, everybody. Thanks, Dr. Walsh and Dr. Rosenthal, for the kind invitation. Um, so my topic is endoscopic drainage of Waldorf pancreatic necrosis. And what I plan to do is first review what the indications are for endoscopic uh, intervention on collections. Um, we'll review the steps for endoscopic drainage and debridement. I'll show you how it's done. And then we'll briefly touch on uh, lumen opposing metal stents, which are a, a nice and interesting new development in this area. And then finally, um, we'll just talk a little bit about selecting endoscopic versus percutaneous drainage in the management of Waldorf necrosis. Uh, one relevant conflict I have is shown. Uh, Boston Scientific does make some devices that are used in, in these procedures. Um, so first, with regard to indications, uh, I think it was just nicely highlighted. We have to know what we're draining. We have to assign the proper terminology. Um, and endoscopists, you know, the, this harkens to the revised Atlanta classification, which was just discussed. And the top two boxes show the early collections. And endoscopists do not want to intervene on early collections. Okay, we always leave these alone. We want to establish our symptom onset time, evaluate the imaging, and determine if there um, is truly a, a late collection that might need intervention. Um, today we're focusing on Waldorf necrosis, which differentiates from pseudocysts based primarily on the presence of solid material within the collection. And unfortunately, we still sometimes have uh, these collections misassigned or misclassified as pseudocysts uh, because CT doesn't always easily differentiate these two. So it's, uh, but we, we really want to try to differentiate what we're, we're talking about. Uh, but if you have a collection that looks like this and the patient is sick, uh, certainly endoscopic intervention is warranted. This is, um, in fact, we, we subdivide Waldorf necrosis as infected and sterile. Uh, infected necrosis occurs in up to 30% of necrosis cases. Uh, sometimes patients will present um, just with a fever and feeling unwell, but uh, oftentimes they present very sick with sepsis and multi-organ system failure. Uh, usually, this is a clinical and radiological diagnosis. We, we seldom resort to percutaneous aspirations anymore uh, to make this diagnosis. Uh, but certainly, endoscopic drainage is a useful um, part of the management of a patient with this type of collection as part of the step-up approach, which helps to control the sepsis and hopefully delay and obviate, even obviate the need for uh, surgical intervention. A little more nuance is required in deciding whether to intervene on a sterile collection. Um, some of these patients are minimally symptomatic, and they may be able to eat okay, and they may not have very many symptoms, and, and, and even 